here. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058 on the ramp, taxi to runway 20, Twin Oaks. Hold on. Yo. Just to get it going. Well, just in case we get a gust of wind, we don't want the ailerons to go bang against the stops or whatnot. If the this uh, thinks this cabin heat is pulled out, that means it's hot? Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Should we, should we put it in? I'll put it in a little bit, yeah. I will go about half. But you, uh, unfortunately, the heat in a Cessna 150, it directs all towards you. That doesn't go towards my side, so you'll roast and I'll still be freezing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you got to keep the guy who's going to make sure the plane gets on the ground I guess safely. so, yeah. Everybody else can be a popsicle. It just, it feels like it's been so long, it's I just know, ridiculous. just take your time, just use your checklist and you'll be fine. Doors are locked, okay. brakes are good, go straight, flight controls, correct. Brakes, 1700. Check, one at a time, yep. Left. Good. Flexion, 24 and 6. Is this way off? No, there you are. Yep, it's probably been a while since it's flown. So. Okay. Yep, check all six instruments where everything works. Just check that one. So, does the, the suction falls when, when the power falls? Power is Yep, okay. so hold the brakes there. Okay. I see. Yep. Radios. 305. That's correct. Okay. We're good. All right. Sounds good. How often, how uh, much space do you give somebody else that had just taken off? Um, wait until they're at least turning. So yeah, he's definitely turning. Okay. But yeah, once he's he's starting to turn here. I had that situation when I was behind 058 in the, in the pattern originally. So I just kind of let him go and then... That's fine. You know. Yeah, but it's better to be more cautious than not. Yeah, that's know, what I figured. Definitely. And is there, I mean, is, is there any real worry about, like, uh, you know, the, 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 the turbulence? Wait, wait, not from a small plane. No. Not from a plane your size, no. But a bigger airplane, yes. Oh, definitely. Yep. All right. Okay. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058, departing runway 20, Twin Oaks. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Feet on the floor. Power. Use your hands a little bit. Make your life easy. He's ready to fly, let it fly. Fly. Well, it's going to happen real fast, so you're going to turn downwind here in a minute. You're going to be on downwind for runway 20. So, we're just doing a little bit of pattern work. Don't walk up your feet, just be real channel. And you're good to make your downwind. So running, don't let the nose drop here. So yeah. landing on two zero. Yeah, landing okay. on two zero. Hold a little bit of right rudder. Look at that ball. Should tell you that. Twin Oaks traffic says to one six zero five eight on a left down one for runway two zero twin oaks. You're working about a hundred times harder than you should be. I feel that. Yeah. Why? Why do it? Make your life be easy. Use the trim. Give your hands off right now. All right. Cool. It's gonna happen real quick. So you're beating the numbers. Don't turn oh, until you got your car beat. Throttle. Flaps, trim. I'm, not, I'm just not used to yep. point these RV. Carby. Throttle. Model the 15. Flaps, 10 degrees. Four. And don't turn until you actually lose an altitude. Because okay. if you turn right now, you will not make it because you are so high. So let's not get the results you want. So just pull a little bit more power out. Make the airplane do what you want it to do. All right, that's looking better. Hard to tell with those trees. You think I'm too low? Yep. Okay, now don't turn too early because now this is ugly. Yeah. Now you gotta Go fix do it. a second correction, which just makes your life harder. All right, now we'll get another notch of flaps in. We want our 20 degrees like we normally could. And let's Four. slow ourselves down to our regular 70 miles an hour, what we always do, because you aren't gonna want to land if you're going too fast. Feeling pretty high, too. 
Not really. No? Not with what the wind is doing. The wind is keeping you away from the runway. Okay. So. You're looking pretty good. But remember, your feet will move you around like a fish, and your hands help you go places. There. Not let the wind get you all cockeyed. Relax, gentle. Use those feet to make yourself straight. Let's go all the way to idle. Come on, be aggressive. Don't let the wind take you. Get your feet straight now. Straight now. You just keep using them. Feet. Good. There you go. Right. A little rusty there, huh? A little bit. You're all right. Get getting the rust knocked off though. Cool, all right, we'll go try another one. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 12058, departing runway 20, Twin Oaks. Feet on the floor, full power. Climbing at 70. Now go out a little ways further on this one because okay. you've got the wind right in your face right now, so it's good because you'll be able to climb before you turn. So don't even turn at 45, just go okay. straight for a little while. But you got to account for the wind. The wind is wanting to blow you up to the north. So. Okay, so. All right, so we're aware of the burn. Yeah, so focus on your climbing. You'll have some time to cruise. Take a minute to relax, but think about what you're going to do next. Don't get caught with your pants down here. Okay. Whereas you're playing catch it, so. Okay. So we're definitely beating the numbers. Okay. Bottom of 15. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1, 1, Okay. Look at right your right. runway. Probably turn now. The wind yeah. is so strong that it's it wants to blow you to the north. Just a gentle turn, no steep turn. Down. Okay. I'm already feel like I'm low. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058 on a final for runway 20, Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks traffic. Worst thing you can do is let the nose drop and get a ton of speed going. So just keep it right about 70. Maybe pull some power out. Yeah. Heck. I agree. There you go. Lower your nose drop a little bit. Yep, lower your nose a little bit. Get going slow. Still pretty high. Then I don't. said to me once, um, we were doing crosswinds, and we were down in uh, McMinnville, and you had said, um, you know, because I wasn't on the center line, and I'm like, okay, get back on the center line, I want you to drag the whole runway before you, <laughs> and, yeah. I, and I always think of that now, I'm like, okay, let me fix this before I, yep, yep. good. Twin Oaks traffic, that's 16058, clear of runway 20, Twin Oaks. Okay. Awesome, all right, we'll taxi on back. That was a lot better. Yeah. Feeling a lot, a lot more comfortable, for yeah. sure. So, cool. One thing the solo did for me, too, is, I'm like, okay, I know I can do this, you know? Exactly. And, and, um, and it just, and, and the other thing, too, is you always talk about, you know, you're like in a block of ice, you know? So you, and, uh, it's nice and loose. So just do it, so I stay loose, you're right. I mean, that last, that last little bit, as long as I just sort of let go and start feeling the plane, I feel... And you did a lot better, and you held the flare in, and then even after you touched down, when I felt the mains touch, you held the nose in the air for a little while, and it was great. It was very good, so... This is great, I'm so glad we got it today. Oh yeah, definitely. And, and, um, and, and also what's good is the chargers are playing right now. Okay. And so I think they do better when I'm not watching. <laughs> I, at least not my blood pressure does better. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Alright, cool, All right. man. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058, departing runway 20, Twin Oaks. Get 
my heels on the floor. Full power. Very nice. Guess you guys don't own these trees over here. Uh, yes. You do? Those are bobs. The north field, yeah. Why does he keep them? He's cut them down a lot. Has he? They used to, you couldn't used to use the north, uh, land south here about 10 years ago. Twin Oaks traffic, 614 Alpha, crossing midfield. Twin Oaks. Right there. Two enter a left down with 2 0. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058, turning final for runway 20. Twin Oaks. I just, that, yeah, that window's kicking me back. It's tricky today. It is very tricky today. Twin Oaks traffic, 614 Alpha, turning final runway 20, Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058, clear of runway 20, Twin Oaks. Sweet. Car beat in. Laps up. All right, cool. We'll try another. Okay. Yeah, you. I, I don't really have any complaints at all. That good. was really good. Very good. Definitely starting to feel it. You know, and that was my complaint for the longest time, because I didn't know what the airplane was doing. Uh huh. What's he flying? That's a Glass Air Sportsman. That's experimental too. Wow. Um, but they have a kit, uh, like a program. Oh, what is it? The builder uh, has to build 51% of the airplane to have it considered to be legal to be experimental. But the, they're made up in uh, Arlington, Washington. And so they have a program where the factory builds 49% of the airplane and you finish the other 51%. <laughs> but, uh, because beyond that, it doesn't, it's not considered experimental exactly. anymore? Exactly, yeah. Huh. They're a nice airplane. They're very good performers. Yeah, for sure. And how do you get qualified to be a non-experimental airplane? I mean, is it going to be so many hours in a plane? Or you mean building one? Or yeah, I mean, how does it? Anybody how do you can go build from, one. But how? But how do you go from being experimental to legit? All the certification that it goes through. It's called Part 23. Um, it's the FAA certifies all this stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you in the air here. Okay. So. Clear, right? Okay. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058, departing runway 20, Twin Oaks. Heels on the floor. Experimentals have not been tested to the same standards that these airplanes are tested to. So, now some of them, if it's a good design like an RV, they're very safe and they're good. But a lot of it depends on the build quality, who built it, and they aren't certified like these are. So, I, the per, this is my personal opinion, I, uh, I'm very reluctant to fly an experimental aircraft. Yeah. In fact, I don't at all. I think of John Denver. Yeah. So, some people love them, they're, and they're great, and they're, they're safe, but, uh, I like the fact that the federal government has certified this airplane, right. this design. Makes sense to me. Yeah. The, one of the main reasons for experimental is uh, you get a lot more more value for your money. Huh. Because some of the certification stuff, like for these airplanes, is overpriced. Like uh, you stamp aviation on something and it's in, you know, the part is instantly three times the price. I see. You know what I mean? So you can get into something for cheaper. Uh -huh. It could be just as dependable. Yeah. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 16058 on left downwind for runway 20, Twin Oaks. 
All right, you have an engine failure. Okay. What's the most likely cause? Um, carburetor ice. Yep. So pull it. Yep. Car read out. Use your trim. Seventy miles an hour. I'd turn right now. I wouldn't even think about it because of the wind. Right. It's always easier to get down. But with the strong winds like this, no huge steep turns, but just seventy miles an hour. You may not even make it right now. We'll see. I'm off and close. I'm off and close. So just pull it back a little bit, right about 70 miles an hour. Use your trim. Nice and relaxed, you're okay. So it's good to come in high like this because it's always easy to, you can just dump full flaps and you'd be fine. So see how the wind is just sucking you down. So you can even kind of dog leg it to final. You know, it'll be a little bit sloppier. Yep. By undershooting, that'll conserve altitude. Now if you're way high, you could overshoot a little bit too and that'll burn up more land in order to uh, take more distance. Before you, can't, you come back in, kind yep. of. I see. Uh, yeah, no, I think we got this. Okay. And then add flaps when you feel like you need them. Okay. You may not need them at all. You may need full flaps. Yes. I think I need 20 degrees. Okay. Still too fast. Four. We're awfully high. Just dump them all then. That's no problem. One Keep your nose down when you do it. Four. There you go. Now look Seven at that just hung out. out the barn doors. Sure did. Ooh, man. I'm You're fine. Flapping around. I'll get it. Good job. There you go. Back on the center line here. We. Ooh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. Twin Oaks traffic system, one two zero five eight clear, runway two zero, Twin Oaks. Hey, you another one? Alright, yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. So see, that's no big deal. Now you can see how with the full flaps, um, you can get slow really quickly. Yeah, man, it's that, that last degree is 10 degrees really. So it's a two-edged sword. It's very useful to get down, but also if you don't pay attention, you can stall really easily. Right. Because you're got so much drag hanging out, for sure. Especially going into the wind like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun, I liked that. Because yeah. it, it kind of mixes up the pattern, you know, you got to adjust everything. Oh yeah, definitely. Hold on to your hill just in case the dust comes. You just, you just usually hold on to it all the time? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, on the floor. Get my hook. Full power. Twin Oaks traffic test to 16058, turning base for runway 20. Now let your nose drop. You do not want to be at 70 right now, right? Right. So push it down. Let her drop. Maybe pull more power if you need to. Let yourself lose altitude here. Don't fight with the airplanes trying to do. Four. Maybe trim it downhill. Yep. Yeah, just trim, trim, trim. Make it might be easy. Pretty high. Twin Oaks traffic test in 16058, turning final for runway 20. Sorry, please clear the exit. Land this thing and you personally land this thing and take the other exit. Uh huh. Yeah. You can too. We've just come in a little bit. You've been coming in a little high every time. So if you come in a little bit lower and drag it in with power a little bit more, it's certainly possible. Definitely. Twin Oaks traffic Cessna 16058 clear of runway 20 Twin Oaks. Alright, you want to do one more or call it good? Let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. Absolutely. Let's try and make that other exit. How's that sound? So maybe come in with like 30 degrees of flaps. Okay. Don't come in. 
with such a steep dive, coming a little bit shallower, you're a little scared of the trees, which you can yeah. see there's a big cut in them. So <laughs> there is, don't stress too much. <laughs> so, all right, cool. I don't, want, I don't want to give it up. I'm afraid I don't know if we're going to be able to fly again. <laughs> you know, uh, um, yeah, I am working a lot of hours these days. Uh huh. Um, How are the mornings for you? Well, I usually get into work at 7:30 now. Oh, jeez. But um, but that just means I'm leaving an, an hour earlier. So I can, if I work start at 7:30, I, I get out at 6:30. So 6:30, okay. But um, I mean the days are getting a little bit longer, but. Um, but what I was going to say is, if there's if there's a day that looks like we're going to have some good weather or something, and you're available, just let me know, and I'll I can adjust my schedule. I'll just either have to okay. work longer or whatever, you know. Oh, man, they're working you guys like dogs. Yeah, through April. Oh my gosh. And, and then every other every other Saturday, starting this next Saturday. Jeez. Got to get that film done, man. But anyway, so if it looks like you're going to be here on a Wednesday or something, and great, yeah, no, and the weather be looks like it's going to be good on Wednesday morning, then we could try, and then I'll just work till 9:30 or whatever at night. Okay. Sounds good, man. Definitely. Because otherwise, I'm just afraid we're not going to have any time to fly. we got to get her done here. Oh. All right. Okay. Groaning. See, even the plane's complaining. <laughs> Traffic Cessna 16058, departing runway 20. That's that new brake disc. Okay. That's got some squeaking still. It's got some music. Yeah. Anybody on the right? It's good. Those alpacas are loving the weather. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. All right. Feet on the floor. Full power. You want to gain altitude as fast as you can while you got the wind in your face. It's you, it's really hard to... Once, you're, once you get the wind behind you? Yeah. yeah. Whatever you do, don't do steep turns. Don't ever turn more than about 30 degrees of bank angle in a pattern. Keep the numbers, car beat out. 12 and 15. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Yep. Uh, chin the other way. It doesn't oh. want to come down. Yeah, it doesn't want to make it go down. And you got a lot of power in it too. Yeah. Traffic Cessna 16058, turning left base for runway 20, Oaks. Uh, just keep your nose down. Try this, why don't you try to pull it back to about 1300 or so for me. And then when you hit finally put the extra flaps in? We may not even need them, we'll see. Okay. We'll check it out. Start adding some power back in. A little more. Right, 70, so you're looking good. Keep close down. Now ease a little more power out. You gotta kinda work it here. Uh -huh. well, let's ease a little more out. Now go all the way to idle. Speed, right? Yeah. And altitude, as long as you don't come in too high. Cool. <laughs> I don't know how to stop flying. Put <laughs> right. traffic test to 16058 clear runway 2020. Checklist 
Stop, stop. I think you're doing great, man. Let's, uh, we'll call it a day with that if you're cool with that. Okay. And then, uh, we'll see about next weekend. Cool. Okay. Want to gas her up? Yep, we'll go back to the pumps there. Awesome. You did great today. I see no issues at all with you soloing here. We'll get you soloed here and you're you're on your way. You're doing good. And then we can get our cross countries in? Exactly, yep. I, I really love this, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm not really having a fun time, so. Absolutely, man. Uh, no, you're doing, doing a good you, job. need to get as much as I can in before I find out I don't have a job. <laughs> I know. Especially with your you know, skyrocketing rates. <laughs> right, hang on. Okay, flaps are up. Car heats in. Here's lean. Don't you fry all that expensive. Turn the computer. Okay. So what you're doing is, you if, do you if, you're all, engine? if you're all the way at idle, you're actually going into the idle bypass valves, because that's how it idles, uh -huh. and when you kill the mixture sometimes it doesn't want to die if you don't um, have a little bit of power in. So don't go to idle when you kill it. Okay. Kill it at about 800 to 1000, okay. and then it'll die better. Let me show you. Excuse here. me, explain the reason to me again. But if I have it at idle and I try and kill it, you see that? No, no, it doesn't want to die. Yeah. So you have to have it go. Because there's the carb, there's that whole butterfly valve inside the carb. Yeah. But around on the sides, there's a little bypass valve, so it'll idle, right? Well, you're not going through that anymore, and fuel is sneaking around on those bypass valves. So always be about 800 or 1,000 to kill it. Okay. So, learn something new. Yeah. If worse comes to worse, I just turn the, key, the uh, two switches off there. Okay. Now, that's not proper to do, yeah. because I'm leaving a little bit of fuel in the engine. So... You, you don't want to get in the habit of doing that. But, but it works if you need it. It works if you need it. So. That felt really good, man.